If you use Ecamm Live and you're getting some echo issues with your audio, then uh, I've got a few potential solutions and fixes that you might want to know about coming up in this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And in this video, I'm going to look at basically three different possible causes and solutions for echo that you may be getting in your audio when uh, recording uh, or live streaming in Ecamm Live. Now, there are obviously a whole host of uh, external audio devices that you may have that may be causing echo, uh, but I'm just going to focus on some of the uh, ones that you could have control of within Ecamm Live itself. And incidentally, I'm making this video because it came up as a question in the Ecamm Live Facebook group and so if you're using Ecamm Live and you weren't aware of the Facebook group then definitely head over to facebook.com slash groups slash Ecamm Live uh, because in there you'll find a whole group of uh, wonderful people who are just there to uh, help each other along and uh, share their experiences of using Ecamm Live. It really is a wonderful community. <laughs> so uh, with that said let's get over to the little demonstration that I'm going to give you today. So uh, first of all the exact question was related to an interview mode and there was in, uh, echo with the, uh, the people that were on the interview uh, and I'm not sure of the exact details but I'm basically just going to show you three different uh, options that you may want to look at. So if I come into my live demo mode and you can see my full screen, the first cause that some people have with Echo is, um, let's uh, just use the example of me, I'm using a Shure MV7 microphone and it has a built-in monitor. So I do have uh, my, uh, my earphones in, my monitors, uh, but if I come up to the options menu at the top and you look at the, uh, the output, there is also an option for audio monitor. So some people get confused that they need to actually activate this within Ecamm Live to be able to hear their audio back. Uh, but I can actually hear obviously my own uh, sound coming from my microphone into my monitors and I've also got my system audio feeding into this microphone as well. Uh, but if you put on audio monitor and I was to select that one, that would actually feed back my uh, voice again but with a slight delay. So it would sound in my monitors, in my ear, uh, in my uh, my ear, uh, earphones that there was uh, an echo. So that is one reason that some people say that there is an echo because they've got this, this uh, output set here and it is sort of duplicating the monitoring effect in their headphones. Now if I didn't have my headphones on at all and I was to select some uh, external speakers, so for example this one is my, it's actually my, my screen, my screen monitor <laughs> uh, speakers, so if I was to have the audio monitor set to on and uh, select one of these then we would start getting feedback of the audio back from the speakers. So in fact if I just switch that on you can hear what is going on. It's echoing back. <laughs> So uh, that is one place to always check that you've got this, uh, this output not going somewhere where you can actually uh, physically hear it because it will uh, cause that echo. Uh, so then another option that you may want to have a look at is if we go into the preferences, so I'll come into the Ecamm Live preferences and that is by clicking on this little cogwheel over on this side uh, or also going into the Ecamm Live menu and going to the preferences or it is also from the keyboard shortcut command comma. Now when you go into here there are a couple of sections that you may want to consider related to the echo. So first of all is if we go into the audio tab here you can see I've got my speakers set to my, uh, this is my Shure MV7, which is also, is the microphone, but it's also uh, has the monitors, so it is the output as well. So at the moment, the sound from my, uh, everything going through Ecamm Live is going to the Shure MV7, everything except the uh, microphone that is. Uh, and then if I click on this and I was to change this one to the uh, monitor, then again, this one would have the uh, sound then going out for everything that's playing through the uh, um, the uh, pr uh, production, <laughs> all of that sound would be going out to my speakers. So if I did have guests on the uh, the call uh, on the, the in the production, uh, then their voices and things like that, and any audio that was playing would be going out over those speakers, and so uh, you would potentially hear some of that back. Now, if I've got it onto a uh, now that in actually is over USB, so it's a USB speaker, but if you've got some sort of built-in speakers then you do have this option to use echo cancellation. So uh, with uh, with the uh, when it's going through over USB to my monitor then there isn't this option and if it's going over USB to my microphone where I've got my in-ear monitors uh, you don't have this echo cancellation. But if you've got some speakers that are actually plugged into the uh, you know the headphone or the speaker port of your computer 
then what you should see is that you have this echo cancellation option. So depending on the uh, output that you have selected in this uh, speakers section here, uh, you may or may not be able to highlight this echo got some speakers plugged straight into my Mac Mini I'd be able to use echo cancellation but the ones that are working is uh, is not there so it's disabled for the current output but that is another way that you can control the echo potentially the final one that I want to talk about in terms of echo is more to do with the uh, the interviewees side of things. So uh, here you've got this one uh, option here, which is turn audio processing for guests, uh, turn off audio processing, I should say, <laughs> for guests. And this is called musician mode. Uh, so sometimes you may hear people refer to that as well. Um, Normally what happens is that Ecamm Live will do the job of the echo cancellation on the guest side. So if they aren't wearing headphones, it will deal with all of the mix minus sort of stuff. So mix minus is basically where it's it's taking out whatever's being broadcast over to them and it's taking that out of anything that's being fed back to you. So normally uh, Ecamm Live is handling that all automatically. Um, but if you have this one here toggled on, then it won't do any of the echo cancellation. So if you're feeling like you're getting or you're hearing that you are getting echo coming back from your guests, then it's definitely worth coming in and just checking to see that you've got this one uh, unchecked. So you want it if it's if it is unchecked, it will be doing the echo cancellation. If you have this one checked like that, it will turn off any processing and so then you will get echo back from them unless your guests are wearing headphones. Uh, the best option is, in all cases, to actually try to wear in-ear monitors if, it's, if at all possible. It will lead to a better experience for uh, you and your guests uh, and the, uh, the overall production. But uh, those are the three ways that you may want to consider echo uh, looking into uh, echo troubleshooting so first of all uh, let's just quickly recap those again is either in the interview mode uh, just make sure that you have this one unchecked so that it is doing the correct audio processing the next one is to look in your audio settings and uh, if you have got your uh, if it's possible to turn on this echo cancellation and the final one is to just check that you have uh, the output. You don't have any audio monitor selected and that one is turned off. So I hope that that has been useful uh, in terms of uh, troubleshooting some echo. As I say, there is any number of potential causes for echo if you're using things like loopback or if you're using other uh, software or third party uh, devices to uh, basically control your audio. Uh, there can be all sorts of manner of uh, ways that you might get echo fi filtering into your system somehow. But those are the three ways that you may want to check if you want to just check the Ecamm settings first. Well, I hope you've found that useful. If you did find it useful, then don't forget to go and like and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever I make any new videos. And speaking of videos, there is plenty more Ecamm Live content coming up next in the playlist to the bottom right. So until the next video, have a great day, everyone.